Well, all I see is damp. Damp, damp, damp. I just wake up and I, I find the wood dripping like sweat or it's like raining inside the house. I moved to this flat in June. That mean I came to this house with no asthma in June. First of July, 2009, asthma. Since day one as a pediatrician, I've listened to hundreds of children's chests with this stethoscope and seen children work so hard just to get oxygen through their body. The same story again and again. Listening to children report mold, struggle with damp, I started to see that their homes were making them sick. I'm thinking, why is the house causing her illnesses to become worse every time she comes in? That she should be happy at home and not ill. This was terrace by terrace, estate by estate. This was Sheffield, Rotherham, Manchester. Every health worker I've spoken to had the same diagnosis that our housing system is causing a national health emergency. This is happening because politicians chose to turn homes into assets and then for 40 years ignored the disastrous consequences of doing that. Mould is political, housing is political. To change it, we need to get political. And if the politicians won't change it, maybe we change them. I'm going to Manchester, not just for myself. Four million in London, the one who suffer like me. There's not a day that goes by in my workplace where I don't see someone sick because of the home that they come from. We cannot keep on as a country talking about homes as something that have to be used to make money. It doesn't work. We need just our health to be safe. Yes. We don't feel safe. We don't feel safe. It's no good just getting angry. You need to get focused. Watch our full film at homesforus.org.uk. Oh,